In this video we're going to look at making some more parts for the heavy haul and loader. Uh, so the parts list and diagram shown here. So if you don't have a project for the heavy haul and loader yet, you'll want to make one of those and be in that project. And we're going to create a new standard part. going to create um, the uh, wheel next. So looking at the wheel here in the uh, bill of materials, it's three quarters inch thick and two inches in diameter. Uh, and looking at some of the detail on it, it has quarter inch roundovers and then a hole in the center that's one inch across, half inch deep, and then a three inch hole all the way through. So we'll start by making a round disc that's three quarters of an inch thick by two inches wide. So we'll start a new sketch. That's the origin. I'll place a two inch circle. Extrude it three fourths of an inch. Next, we'll put the roundover on it. So it's a quarter inch roundover. We can use the fillet tool for that. Set it at quarter inch. And do the front and back. And finally, the hole in the middle. It's a stepped hole. That's one inch across, half an inch deep, and three inch all the way through. So an inventor, we can use a um, counterboard hole. We want to do a concentric hole on there. And the concentric reference is any of the circular features of the hole, of the wheel. The outside diameter is one inch, a depth of half of an inch. And the inside diameter is 3 eighths of an inch. And with these settings, I can press OK. And we've got the hole created for the wheel. So the wheel is complete. I'll save that. And move on to a new part. The next part we'll do is the hood here. Uh, the hood in the bill of materials is laminated pine, which means it's two pieces glued together. The overall size is one half inch cube, one half by one half by one half. And then there's two roundovers and two holes in it. So we'll start by making a cube. one and a half by one and a half and extruded one and a half as well. Then there are quarter inch roundovers on two of the sides. Use the fillet tool and a quarter of an inch. And then there are two holes. One hole is a three eighths inch hole, a quarter of an inch deep. And the other hole is a <coughs> half inch hole, a half an inch deep. Uh, the first hole is three eighths of an inch from the edge. And the second hole is five eighths of an inch from the second hole, or one inch from the edge. And they're both centered along the center line. Using the hole tool, I want to do a linear placement on the top. The first hole is going to be a quarter of an inch, excuse me, three eighths of an inch, a quarter inch deep. So I'll change this to three eighths. And then instead of through all, it will go a distance of a quarter inch. And just to make it a little bit easier when I get to assembly, 
going to change it to a flat bottom hole here. The first reference will be the side of the cube. I can do, because of the fillet, I want to make sure I get the full side of the cube because it's three quarters from the side. So I'll do three quarters from there. And then it is from that edge, three eighths of an inch. We'll apply that hole. And then the second hole is also a linear hole referenced three quarters from this edge. And now one inch from this edge. But this hole is half an inch deep and half an inch in diameter. So the holes are done, and that is the end of the cap. Uh, the hood, excuse me.